Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. So y'all have spoken. We are playing with green today. This was my number one recommended color to play with. I've been asking y'all what colors you want to see for springtime. I mean, I want to say everyone said green. Um, there may have been a few people who said other colors, but green was like the top of the list. So I had to play with some green today and I put my own spin on it and made it a little bit more soft, a little bit more subdued, but you still can see the green. Um, so I'm going to show you how I like to wear green. There's so many different tones of green and that goes with any color. There's so many different shades within a color so you just kind of have to find what works best for you what you prefer i think it's just about finding that right shade that you're comfortable with and um that just kind of fits your own style so i'm going to show you how i like to wear green i love the way this turns out it turned out it's actually really really easy anyone can do this look it's so easy and when it comes to color i like very simple easy just kind of minimal looks and just kind of let the color speak for itself. I don't like to do like full on colorful smoky eyes. Um, and I just honestly don't have the time to do that. So this is a very easy, simple way to incorporate some color into your look. So before we get into the video, if you like, have you been liking my spring makeup looks? If you've been liking these colorful looks, give this video a thumbs up. If you're not already, go ahead and subscribe. That way you'll be notified every time I post a new video. And then um, leave a comment down below. Let me know if there's another color that you want me to see. I've done blue, I've done purple, I've done peach, I've now done green. So if there's another color that you want to see on my channel, let me know down below. Or if you're kind of over the color, if there's a certain look that you want me to do, leave it in the comments down below. I'm always trying to get feedback from y'all and um, I love when y'all request to do different looks because sometimes I just don't know what y'all want to see and sometimes I get in kind of this rut of doing the same thing over and over again. So let me know in the comments down below what kind of looks you want to see, what colors you want me to use. I would greatly appreciate it. Grab something to drink as always. I've got some coffee. I took my kids to school this morning and had to take coffee on the go so that's why I've got a to-go cup. Um, but grab a coffee, grab a snack, and let's get into it. All right, so to start off the skin, I'm gonna use my Inica Organic Radiant Glow Drops, and I'm gonna mix it in with the Vapor Essential Daily Primer. This is gonna give me more moisture, hydration, because um, it's been a little bit since I've done my skincare routine. And then the Inica Drops are gonna give me a little bit more glow, but they don't have any kind of, doesn't have any kind of hydration or anything like that to it. Taking my Cloven Hollow uh, lip mask. All right, so for foundation, I pulled out my Jane Iredale Glow Time Full Coverage Mineral BB Cream. I just haven't used this in a while, and I'm really trying to um, just be more conscious of using products that I own. And um, I feel like I tend to kind of get in the same cycle of using the same products, especially when it comes to foundations. So I'm gonna try and use kind of the products that are in the back of my drawers um, just in an effort to actually use them up. So I'm taking this in the shade BB4 which is a pretty good match for me um, when I don't have any self tanner on and I'm just going to apply this first with a paddle brush. Yeah that's a really good match for me actually. Um, apply this first with a paddle brush and then I'll go in kind of blend it out but I just want to spread this out. It's very full coverage and it's a little bit of a thicker formula. So I like to make sure that it's nice and evenly distributed across the skin. All right, and I'm just going in with the Blendiful, which I haven't used in what feels like forever. <laughs> um, but I'm just kind of blending out any brush strokes, just really pressing the foundation into the skin. All right, and then for concealer, I'm gonna take my Kosas Revealer Concealer. I'm currently use the, using this in the shade 3.2. I'm just gonna hit right in this little inner corner, right here on the outer corner, a little around the nose, and then also just on some little spots. And with this concealer, what I found is if you are having 
if you have hyperpigmentation or if you're breaking out or you just have some serious issues that you need to cover, let it sit on your skin for about 30 seconds or so. Don't have to be exact. But just let it sit there for a second, kind of dry down, and you'll get a lot more coverage out of it that way. All right, I'm gonna take my Danessa Myricks Evolution Powder in the shade two. And I'm going to first start with this smaller brush. This is a Mario EF1. And I'm gonna set my under eye and my smile lines just kind of around my nose a little bit, kind of just through the T-zone with a smaller brush. That way I can kind of pinpoint and really get the powder in there. I also like to take it through my brows. I almost need a lighter shade of this when I don't have any color on my face. Because I feel like on the under eye it's a little bit dark. Just a hair. It's perfect for the rest of my face, but I feel like, yeah, when I'm a little bit more fair, I think I'd prefer maybe the shade 1. Or even her translucent shade. I think she has a shade that's just translucent. I think I would prefer that when I don't have as much color to my skin. And then I'm going to take a larger brush. This one is by Complex Culture. And I'm just going to press this over the rest of my face. Let's do a little bit of highlighter. I've got the Ambient Lighting Powder in Luminous Light. This has been in my collection for far too long. It's probably way expired, but I'm just absolutely obsessed with this product. It's so beautiful. Um, I remember I had heard Jaclyn Hill talk about it for years and I'd always wanted to purchase it, but I think these are around $45, something like that. So they're quite pricey. And at the time, I just, it was hard for me to justify spending that much, but I went ahead and bought it, saved up my money and splurged on it. And I've had it ever since which again, it's probably way expired, but I use this all the time and I've definitely made a dent in it, but it's lasted me a really long time. So I think it's worth every penny. And it really just gives you that just luminous glow from within. Like you can't see any shimmer or sparkle on the skin. It just gives you almost like an ethereal glow. It's such a cool formula. I really, really like these. All right, and then, wow, okay, sorry, I'm knocking everything over on my table. For bronzer, I'm going to go in with my Well People Bio Base Baked Bronzer, and I'm just going to take it on that same complex culture brush, and I'm just going to kind of stamp it down first, and then I'll go in and blend it out. And then for blush, I wanted something more peachy, so I pulled out my Antonym Baked Blush in peach all right I went ahead and did my brows off camera because I do them the same and it's just kind of boring I really wanted to I wanted it to stay true and do something green but I just wanted to kind of put my own spin on it and do a green that I would I would wear you know just like in my everyday life if I were gonna do a green look, this is how I would do it. So when it comes to green, I tend to go towards more like olivey, kind of that like army green, that kind of shade range of green. Um, I don't like to wear a lot of bright green, um, but I just love those more like olivey tones. So I thought this Danessa Myricks Matte Color Fix in All of You would be perfect for this look. And then this, so when I go for colorful looks, I just go through my eyeshadow palettes and just find greens that really speak to me. The second I opened this and saw this shade right here, this is the Chantecai uh, Butterfly Eye Quartet. I have done a look using this palette before, but this green shade, it's just, it's so beautiful. It's this gorgeous duochrome. Let's swatch it. And it just has such a cool just look to it. And I just wanted to do something kind of different. It's definitely green, but then it has that little bit of like a, a pink rosy shift to it. So I thought that would be fun to play with. 
And then I also pulled my Aether Joshua Tree palette. This has definitely been, uh, I'm, I'm using this quite a bit recently. It's just got a great array of matte shades. And there are some gorgeous greens in here. Like this one right here is really pretty. Honestly, I love this. It's more of like a turquoise, but those two are really pretty. So if I just want to add some more depth, I'll probably uh, pull this in. But I'm going to start with the color fix. Honestly, these two, this is basically all I want to do on the eyes. I want to keep it very simple, um, a little bit more on like the editorial side. Just very simple and clean yet fun and just has that little like added something, just something a little different and unique on the eyes. I'm going to take all of you on my little ring palette. If you don't have this shade, but you have other Janessa Myers color fix fixes, you can definitely kind of mix and match shades to create an olive shade, especially if you have like blackout and lift, you can really kind of create your own custom green shade. So I'm gonna take this on a refer 02. I'm just going to grab it right off of my palette, really prime the brush because I want to, I don't want this to be too much. I don't want it to overtake the eyes too much. So I'm gonna start with a little, these color fixes work best when you just do little by little, layer them, um, and just kind of work with small amounts at a time. And I'm just going to start pushing this into my lash line and then slowly working this up onto the lid. I want the majority of this color to be right here in this lower part of my lid. And then I'll slowly kind of start to work this upwards and the good thing about these you can just kind of go in with your finger and blend out any areas um, you can use your finger to kind of pick up XX product if you feel like you applied too much so I've done a light layer on this eye I'm just gonna add a little bit more just to deepen up this area of the eyelid right at the lash line and then just kind of use my finger to slowly blend it upwards. The great thing about this kind of eye look and the vision that I have for this eye look is it doesn't have to be perfect at all. Honestly, the more imperfect and kind of lived in um, it looks, then I think the better. So you really don't have to be too precise with this look or worry about it being perfectly blended. Um, because I think that kind of just adds to the feel of the look. It's a little bit more undone, more lived in. And when working with color, you know, you don't have to do anything overly elaborate or extravagant because the color is going to speak for itself. So um, you don't have to do a ton of work to get these colors to look really pretty on the eyes this look I want to keep it pretty tight to the eyes I don't want to wing it out or go too smoky I just want to keep this very light and the majority of the product just right on the eyelid all right so I am going to take a little bit of this color Joshua tree from the Aether Joshua tree palette I'm taking this on a refer 29 it's this really small um, I don't even know how to describe this. It's such a cool brush, but I love it when doing kind of more detailed work or when I want something just right at the lash line and I don't want it to be too thick. Um, I'm just going to push this shade Joshua Tree right into my lash line. And I'm just using pushing motions, not wiping or anything. So I just want it to be right at the lash line just to give a little bit more depth at the lashes, give it some more definition. This will kind of bring out the green as well. Just a tiny, tiny bit, but you can kind of see the difference between this eye and this eye. Just gives a little bit more definition. And I'm just gonna take my finger, and just kind of smudge that in, just so it's a little softer. All right, so I'm gonna stop there because I don't wanna go too intense with this because I can just see myself just applying this all over my eyelid. So I'm gonna take this on my finger. I find that these work best with the finger. I mean, oh my gosh, it's just so pretty. All right, I'm gonna start with a little. And I'm mainly just gonna focus this right on the center of the lid and just use the shape of my finger 
to create the shape of the shadow. And I'm just going from lash line all the way up to my brow. Just kind of want this like spotlight effect. So basically here, I've just got the majority of this shadow on the very, very center of my lid. And then as I'm going up towards my brow, I'm kind of widening the area that I'm applying this. So it just kind of goes up and out like that on my eye, if that makes sense. I don't know if I described that very well. All right, so I wasn't sure if I wanted to apply anything to the lower lash line, but I kind of think I do. I think I want this to be a little bit more smoky. So I'm gonna take a little bit more of that olive um, color fix on my ring palette. Take that same Refer 02 brush. I just cleaned it off with uh, my favorite Cinema Secrets makeup brush cleaner, so it's nice and clean. And then I'm just picking up a little bit more of that olive shade. And I'm gonna run this along my lower lash line, all the way from outer to inner corner. I'm just gonna take a, um, a fluffier brush, this is a Refer 13, and just blend that outer edge, just so it's nice and soft. I still want this look to be pretty soft. So I'm gonna take a little bit more of that Shantikai eyeshadow on my finger. Ooh, you know what? That might not work. Let's take it on a brush because I feel like my finger is going to be too fat. I'm going to take this on a refer 28. I'm going to pick up a little bit of that. I'm going to do a little bit of like a halo eye or spotlight eye. So I'm going to press this shadow right here just on the center of my lower lash line, just keeping it really tight to the lashes. I don't want to bring it down too much but this will just give the eyes kind of a cool little spotlight effect. So you have that green, that duochrome green, running all the way through the eye from the top to the bottom. Just gives a cool effect. All right, I'm gonna stop there. I'm gonna do mascara and then just kind of look at my eyes and see what it needs. I'm also gonna do probably a nude liner in the waterline just to really open up the look. Um, but I'm going to stop here. I like the way it looks. Do mascara. Sometimes that will kind of reveal some things that maybe I want to change up. And then when we come back, we will finish off this look. But I really like the way this turned out. It's green, but it's very subdued and soft and a little more on the gentle side. You know, you don't have to go full on forest green or like bright emerald green when doing a green look. You can kind of t take green and nuance it and make it just kind of fit your style and this is definitely more of kind of my style and how I would wear a green look so anyway I'm gonna do mascara and I'll be right back all right so I just applied bite beauties upswing mascara to my top and bottom lashes and I'm gonna apply a little bit of this nude pencil by Mario this is his master matte brightening pencil um, I mean a bunch of brands make this so you don't have to use this one but I just want to add a little bit of this to the waterline just to kind of help brighten up the eyes. All right, so for the lips, I'm gonna take my Mineral Fusion Lip Pencil in Elegance. Um, I need some recommendations for lip pencils. I feel like I use the same lip pencils, which, I mean, they're just so good, so I just don't buy other lip pencils, but I use my same Mineral Fusion one, my Aeropress one, and my Bodyography Lip Pencil. So if y'all have lip pencil recommendations, let me know, I love a good lip liner. Um, Cause I just feel like I use the same ones all the time, and which is not a bad thing. Cause if I wasn't doing YouTube, if I was just like, not that I'm not a normal person, but if I just had like a normal makeup collection, I would just use the same lip pencil every day. And then for my actual lip color, I wanted something kind of peachy. So um, I pulled out my Chantecai Lip Chic in the shade Peach Blossom. Um, this is such a great formula. It, I would describe it as like a tinted lip balm, but has quite a bit of tint to it. Um, but they're really nice and moisturizing. They have um, kind of a glossy finish. And they're just so pretty. Yeah, they have a lot of color to them, but they feel just like you're applying a lip balm. This is going to be such a great product for the spring and summer. And you just want to throw something on. They make your lips look so juicy and yummy. Oh, I love these. 
All right, guys, that completes this video. I hope you enjoyed this look. I hope that this inspires you to play with some color, maybe dabble in a little bit of green. And um, I actually really like the way this turned out. I never wear green just because, I mean, I don't know why. I just don't wear green ever. And I just love the way this looks. It's such a nice, subtle, softer way to play with color that doesn't overwhelm the look and, you know, take over. So I really like this. I think it's such a perfect look for spring. I hope y'all enjoyed. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. It's always a blessing to be able to sit here and chit chat with y'all and play with makeup and try some fun, colorful looks. So remember, I love you. God loves you. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye guys. Broken roses. I can't focus. Something precious.